One of the biggest stories coming out of Terence Crawford versus Israel Madrimov was how badly Jared Anderson got exposed and beaten up by Martin Bacoli, who has proven to be very underrated to a lot of uh, boxing fans. I did underrate him a few years ago, but going into this fight, I actually wasn't surprised by the result. I did favor Martin Bacoli. And the reason why is because Jared Anderson had shown weakness against Charles Martin, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, because when you step up, you show more weaknesses and you need to show more wrinkles to your game. And Jared Anderson certainly responded well against Martin, but Martin was old, washed up, didn't have any training camp whatsoever, and by simply moving his head from side to side, he was able to avoid Jared Anderson's big knockout punches and buzz him several times by reaching with the left hand and then when Anderson would pull back or lean back, Martin would fire off another left hand and he was catching him clean and Anderson was hurt badly. So after that, I never saw Anderson as this formidable, unstoppable prospect. And when you look at Anderson, he has all of the attributes that you would want to see in a future not only champion but star as well because he's big he's naturally gifted as an athlete he is well coordinated he's got confidence he's charismatic he's an american he's a good talker he, he does interviews very well so he had all the signs of a guy who really could be a future star in the sport but he got beaten up badly by martin bacoli and one of the reasons why I wasn't surprised by the result is because before the Charles Martin fight, so last year, exact, almost exactly a year ago, he did this interview with uh, Marcus Vegas where, as you can see by the title, he said he is desiring to leave the sport early before he gets to his prime, really, before he gets to, I think 28 is the number he gave. Either way, it was very early. And he said he doesn't actually love boxing. Now, you can interpret that several different ways. Sometimes you don't love the job that you're doing. I mean, a lot of us don't. And certainly when I was in my early 20s, I did jobs that I didn't love. But what I found weird about that is Jer Jared Anderson would really want to leave the sport early, in my opinion, um, as in before he even become a, became a professional, if he really didn't love the sport that much. Like, that's the time you leave before you have to take it seriously because you are, are a professional and you're working your way up the ranks. And the entire reason fighters work their way up the ranks is so that they can become a big name and earn those big paydays. So why was Jared Anderson even in the sport if he intended to leave before becoming a big star? Why start the professional ranks at all? That is something I always wondered. And Jared Anderson, he also showed some other warning signs in that fight with Charles Martin because after getting buzzed multiple times, he was not only emotional afterwards, but I believe it was in the changing rooms, he was crying and uh, hugging his mother like, again, a very emotional young man. And... Being emotional isn't a bad thing, of course it's a human thing, but to win a fight where you had to face some adversity and then you start crying hysterically afterwards, that shows that you may be a bit unstable because, again, most people are emotional after they lose a fight or they have to go to war and they exert so much and it's a very emotional charging experience. This wasn't that for Jared Anderson, or at least didn't appear to be that so to be very emotional like that and to constantly talk about how you don't love the sport and you want to leave I actually took it as some major coping mechanism where he's saying well or he's trying to give off the message well you know what guys I don't actually love the sport so if I get beaten up or if I lose or if I face some adversity it ain't no big deal because I'm not even trying in there because I don't really love the sport. I'm just doing this because I'm forced to do it, you know? That kind of thing. It's a well it's well known once you, you know, have some life experience that people will often cope uh, with the fact that they may lose or they may not succeed the way that they want to in something 
by saying, well, actually, I'm actually happy that it turned out that way because, you know, I didn't actually put all my effort in because I don't really love it and, you know, just think of what I would be able to do if I actually loved it. Again, this is just human psychology, really. So, yeah, the fact that Jared Anderson was talking about this or talking like this repeatedly before he had done anything serious just made me think maybe Anderson isn't motivated to evolve because again if he doesn't love the sport and he's telling you hey I don't like the sport I don't like the sport I don't like the sport then what could we expect from him so he fights Martin McCauley who's a big juggernaut of a man who comes forward like the Terminator constantly and he is very good at when he pressures his opponents to hit them repeatedly he doesn't let let you breathe he doesn't let you off the hook I just thought I won't be shocked at all if Jared Anderson gets beaten up so yeah it's uh certainly an interesting thing to see a young prospect get beaten up that badly but I wasn't so shocked by it and if Jared Anderson really doesn't love the sport as much as he claims then I don't think he's going to come back from this which is one of the major things I wanted to say in this video. I don't think Anderson has a future in the sport after this because, again, if you really hate the sport as much as you say you do, then what motivation do you have to evolve? What motivation do you have to come back from this? So, it was very unique to see a young prospect get beaten up this badly. And, you know, talent-wise, I think he is above fighters uh, who haven't made it in the past. But, psychologically he may have reached his ceiling and you know will he even want to continue if he doesn't love the sport drop your thoughts down below let me know what you guys think about what future if anything jared anderson has and i'm going to do more videos talking about the future of the heavyweight division because it is on fire cannot wait to see what is next drop your thoughts down below guys like the video and subscribe to the channel for more catch you later